Do I think she could have climbed out? No. Depends. Does she have wings? On what? What kind of dinosaur they cooked up in that lab? She's a highly intelligent animal. She will kill anything that moves. Run! Oh, no! Don't! And the champion! Reigning that in! You are now listening to it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Joshua Freeman. Welcome back to Joshua vs. The Movies. We'll react, review, and go against all your favorite movies. Today, the movie I'll be going against, standing in the blue corner, Jurassic World. Jurassic World came out in 2015 and was directed by Colin Trevorrow. Jurassic World tells the story of John Hammond's theme park coming to life on Isla Nublar, but things go south when a newly made dinosaur is set loose. Jurassic World stars Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, Vincent D'Onofrio, Ty Simpkins, and Nick Robinson. Jurassic World was met with positive reviews and even cracked a billion dollars like the box office, but we'll see how good it is when it goes against me. The genre of the movie will be action-adventure while the visuals will represent how well the dinosaurs look throughout the movie. If you guys have any questions on the scoring template for each category, it will be in the description below. But I think we're all set. So without further ado, let's get to the review. Fight. Round 1. So you can get on all the rides that are waiting in line. I want to wait anymore. Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. It's actually kind of refreshing to see the park actually open. And I gotta say, it does turn out to be entertaining. But I will say though, these kids aren't that special and don't really provide anything to the story. Fight! Round two. Hello, Australian Vice President. Hal, Jim, Erica. Three minutes late. While year-over-year year revenue continues to climb, operating costs are higher than ever. No one's impressed by a dinosaur anymore. These days, kids look at a stegosaurus like an elephant from the city zoo. But consumers want them bigger, louder. The Indominus Rex, our first genetically modified hybrid. She was designed. Every time we've unveiled a new asset, attendance has spiked. When will she be ready? She already is. Come on! Relax. Don't wander off, all right? Mom's not paying you for babysitting. Hey! Is that you? Uncle Claire! Oh! Whoa! Zach! Last time I saw you, three, four years ago? Uh, seven. Seven years, but, you know, close. And Zara here is going to take great care of you until I'm done working tonight, okay? You're not coming with us? Oh, I... Okay, so, um, I will see you tonight at... What time do you go to sleep? Or, or do you go to sleep at different times? Have fun and take very good care of them, okay? <laughs> okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. It might be a bit premature, but it's believable that people will get bored of the same dinosaurs and eventually want something scarier, which prompts them to create the Indominus Rex. So I'm not mad at that, and it makes sense. Fight! Round three. Oh! Okay. Eyes on me. Blue, watch it. Charlie, do hey, don't give me that shit. Good. Oh, that is damn good. Very good. See? Delta. Blue. Eyes up. Go. <laughs> I was starting to think I hired the wrong guys, but damn, you got a meeting out of your palm. It's not usually a happy ending. Is that why you're not sending in your reports? Uh, what do you need, buddy? A field test. Hey, the wild animals, Hoskins, trust me, you don't want them in a field. We know that the military needs to reduce casualties, 
Nature Stop trying to go to war if you're trying to reduce casualties. Killing machines 75 million years ago. And now we know they can take orders. Can they? Look, look at these creatures. They've got millions of years of instinct in their cells. Instinct that we can program. What if they decide they don't want to be in control? Exactly. Well, then we remind them who is. We terminate the rogues. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> you made them, and now you think you own them. Extinct animals have no rights. They're not extinct anymore, Hoskins. Exactly. How long has InGen been practicing this pitch? Since the day we hired you out of the Navy? So InGen doesn't end have game. say over the dinosaurs? The what to do with them? This is gonna happen. With or without you boys. Oh. Twelve amps in these animals, they're never gonna trust me again. Delta, I see you. Back up. Yeah. He can't control these animals. Darling. Stay right there. Close the gate. So are you listen, Buffy? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's gonna be my point. This scene isn't bad, and I understand that man loves getting new weapons for war, but it's silly to think that these raptors could take orders after one good day. Fight! Round four. Mr. Grady, I need you to come take a look at something. We have an attraction. That's not what you said the last time I saw you. A new species, I mean, made you just went and what made a new dinosaur we'd like you to evaluate the paddock for vulnerabilities that's why you and i never had a second date can we just focus on the asset please look i get it it's probably easier to pretend these animals are just numbers on a spreadsheet but they're not i'll be in the car you might want to change your shirt they're very sensitive to smell Okay, so that's going to be my point, mainly because this scene and situation isn't needed. First, these two characters don't need to have a dating history together. I mean, I understand it's placed here for the laughs, but it's not needed. And it's pretty cliche. And second, even if you were going to have them know each other, wouldn't it be more convenient for her to just call him instead of just driving all the way out there to him? But when it comes to the actors and the acting in the movie, it provides some good actors, but most of the characters end up being either cliche or not that special of a character. Chris Pratt is entertaining, but he's honestly too perfect in this movie to the point that you know he's going to survive, especially if they have his character catching flies on camera. Bryce Dallas Howard as Claire is that special of a character as well, as she's in charge of a theme park with little to no knowledge of the attractions. Vincent D'Onofrio is alright as Hoskins, but his character is a bit cliche. And Ty Simpkins and Nick Robinson's characters aren't that special of characters as well, and like I said before, it's mainly because they don't add anything to this movie. So with that, the movie earns a 0 0.7 out of 1.0 for actors and acting. Fight. Round five. The park needs a new attraction every few years in order to reinvigorate the public's interest. Corporate felt genetic modification would up the wow factor. The Indominus Rex makes us relevant again. The Indominus Rex. Make you relevant again? We need it. So what's this thing made of? The base genome is a T-Rex. The rest is classified. You're not even going to tell me what it is? How long has the animal been in here? All its life. Animals raised in isolation aren't always the most functional. Your raptors are born in captivity. With siblings. No, what you should have said is skills. she had a sibling. Where is it? Now, is it in the basement? <laughs> They're downstairs. Oh, shit. These doors haven't been open a week. Are those claw marks always there? You think it? No, I don't think it she jumped out. She has an implant out. in her back. I can track it from the control room. There's no way a dinosaur got out of there and nobody noticed. Yeah, hello. Larry, get me coordinates on the Indominus. What the fuck are they doing? There's no way the dinosaur jumped over that fucking gate, bro. You really think she could have climbed out? No. Depends. Does she have wings? It's in the fucking cage. Oh my god. Where are you driving to? 
quick way to say it. Oh there my god. Are... There's no way a dinosaur could have jumped over that gate. The of course, the radio breaking up too. Then what's your problem? It's in the the fuck out of the cage, Go. bruh. Well, he's about to die. Yo. What's he doing? Door. Close that Close shit, bruh, bruh, bruh. We can't lock him in Come there. I'm gonna pop this shit out your head. Close the fucking door. Oh, of course. Oh, why did you... Damn. Yes. Okay, so that's gonna be my point. This is an entertaining scene. There's just not much logic in it. I mean, this is a complete overreaction from Claire. First, you're telling me that you think a dinosaur climbed the wall and escaped and nobody saw it at all? What did it do, just sneak away after it climbed over the wall? And two, she drives towards the control room instead of just calling them from where she's at, which causes Owen and the security guard to go in the paddock for some stupid reason. Fight. Round six. There are thermal cameras all over that paddock. She did not just disappear. She marked up that wall as a distraction. She wanted us to think she escaped. Hold on, we are talking about and an you animal. stupidly a believe highly it. Highly intelligent animal. You're going after her with non-lethals. We have twenty-six million dollars invested in that asset. This man are gonna die. Three, <laughs> These men are gonna die. We need to <laughs> That's her tracking implant. She clawed it out. How would it know to do that? She remembered where they put it in. Oh, shit. Make a camouflage! Too bad he had no guns, right? Ah, he's dead. Ooh. Damn. Evacuate the island. We'd never reopen. Human okay. <laughs> she is seeing all of this for the first time. You have an M134 in your armory. Put it on a chopper and smoke this thing. I'm not going to turn this place into some kind of a war zone. That's why I said evacuate the fucking island. Help. There's no reason for you to. Are you kidding me? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm out. Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. This is a cool scene with the soldiers hunting down the Dominus Rex. And not to mention the Dominus Rex camouflaging. <laughs> Fight! Round seven. Sorry. Wait, no, no. Slow down, I can't hear. Hey, Claire. I can't really hear you. We're in the hamster ball. Okay, Zach. Hello? Huh. What happened here? Off road. But they told us to go back. Shh. Claire. I need your help. My nephews, they're out in the valley. Please, if anything happens to them. Bad idea. Great idea. No. There. You see, I told you, four dinosauruses. And Kylosaurus, and there's five dinosaurs. Damn! Oh. 
Oh, come on, come on. Go! Go! Okay, so that's gonna be my point. I don't know what's more of a plot convenience. Claire's nephews coming on a day that the Dominus Rex is set loose, or them being in a ride that they can control themselves, causing this running with the Indominus Rex. When it comes to the directing by Colin Trevorrow, he does a good job bringing Jurassic World to life. Trevorrow incorporates some good shots in the movie and even managed to include some good scenes visually. So with that, the movie earns a 1.0 out of 1.0 for directing. Fight. Round eight. We found her, south of the Gyrosphere Valley between the old park and the aviary. Get ACU out here, real guns this time. Hit the fucking dinosaur! Oh shit! Oh! Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, due to a containment anomaly, all guests must take their immediate Damn. Oh. 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 Oh, at least she landed in the water. Okay, this is just torture at this point. I forgot about the Mosasaurus. I think she's dead. Yeah, she's probably dead. Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. This scene with the pterodactyls attacking everybody is pretty cool. And I gotta say, it's kinda long overdue in this franchise. <laughs> On the other hand though, I get a point also because of the plot convenience of no other helicopter pilot being available, causing Maserani to fly and die. And I mention this because this gives Hoskins the power to use the Raptors. When it comes to the plot and the story of the movie, it doesn't turn out to be bad at all. And the introduction of the Indominus Rex wasn't a bad idea for the movie. What hinders the plot in the story though is some of the plot conveniences that exist throughout the movie. Like the kids being able to control the ride and the empty thought of the dinosaur actually escaping over the wall without anybody noticing, causing it to actually escape. So with that, the movie earns a 0.8 out of 1.0 for plot and story. Fight. Round 9. this thing? It's slowing down. Part raptor. That thing's part raptor. But still, shoot the fucking dinosaur. Yeah. Get up. Engage. Should have did 
that shit first. Raptors got a new alpha. Oh my god. Oh, they still have the cameras on them? Now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so that's gonna be my point. I like this scene in Indominus Rex being part raptor. My main problem though is that the movie doesn't set up the Indominus Rex to effectively communicate with these raptors. I know the Indominus Rex is supposed to be smart, but it shouldn't have the social skills to become the alpha of the raptors. I mean, the movie mentions that it killed its sibling, I guess because it's such a monster, but she just convinces the raptors to join her after one conversation? When it comes to the action adventure of the movie, even though some plot conveniences help make things happen, it's still an entertaining action adventure with the Indominus Rex being set loose on the island. So with that, the movie earns a 0 0.5 out of 0 0.5 for action adventure. Fight! Final round, round 10. They evacuated the lab. What are you doing? I'm afraid that's above your pay grade, honey. It's not a real dinosaur. It ain't, kid. But somebody's got to make sure that this company has a future. See, millions of years of evolution. Get <laughs> oh, shit! Easy, boy. <laughs> Easy. Easy. You dead, bro. <laughs> you're dead. What does that mean? You're dead. Yeah. It's <laughs> not. Nah, you're dead. I just hope he's not gonna blow into a bone or some That's shit. That's how it is, I'm running a T-Rex on high heels.
Okay, so the movie's gonna earn a point right here. This is a pretty entertaining scene with the T-Rex going against the Indominus Rex and Blue helping out. When it comes to the visuals in the movie, they turn out to be really good, and upgraded CGI turns out to be really good for the dinosaurs. And Indominus Rex didn't look bad either. So with that, the movie earns a 0 0.5 out of 0.5 for visuals. So do you guys have it? That's my match against Jurassic World. It turns out it's my world as I end up winning this one. We're not done yet though. Let's go see where it fits on the scale. Let's go check out the final numbers. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so when it comes to the final numbers, we have everything except for the editing and the score. There were no problems in terms of the editing, so that remained a 0 0.3 out of 0 0.3. When it comes to the score, the Jurassic Park theme isn't that impactful in the movie. So with that, the movie earns a 0 0.0 out of 0 0.2 for score. So now that we have the numbers, let's add them up. So the movie ends up with a 3.8 out of 4.5, and that gives it an A- minus rating. So do you guys have it? That's my movie review of Jurassic World. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. And also let me know which movie you want me to go against next. But until then, this is Joshua Freeman. This has been Joshua vs. The Movies. I'm going to see you guys in the next match. <laughs> the base genome is a T-Rex. The rest is classified. You're not even going to tell me what it is? Nature Stop trying to go to war if you're trying to reduce casualties. Machines 75 million years ago. And now we know they can take orders. Can they? Yes, Mr. Mizrani thinks since you're able to control the raptors. See, it's all about control with you. I don't you can't control. control. Nobody, he can't control the raptors. Extra, extra, read all about it. Extra, 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 read all about it. Ooh. Ah. Damn. What did I say? I am. <laughs> Took you long enough. Could have done this back in phase one, though. Be careful of mankind, Diana.